Okay, ignore that last few seconds of whistling. Hey everybody, it's Super Baseman 275 back with episode 3 of Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Um, yeah, in the last episode we finished up World 2. Really wasn't that difficult at all. I was surprised at how well I how well I got through it. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to tackle level 3 butter building. Uh, this is one of my least favorite levels in the game. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Uh, so yeah. There's probably going to be a lot of rage. And a lot of, uh, a lot of fail. And we're not even halfway through. So yeah. Let's get started. Go through the door. Yeah, so it's your standard building layout, you know, swordsmen and weird little bunny creatures with umbrellas and time bombs. Let's go through the door, and it's, of course it's just like every other standard company. You know, you've got your uh, rock defense system and more little bunny creatures. They don't even look like bunnies, what am I saying? I don't know. Um, ah, seems I have disturbed the head of security. Let's see if I can kill him. Yeah, I feel like I'm in one of those action movies. <laughs> Kirby screams like a little girl. Anyway, you see that little switch up there? I don't think we've come up to one yet. We're gonna need to hit this. But that door over there that we can go to, that doesn't go there. Because these are our secrets. These are what you need to press all of to get 100%. So go ahead and drop down here and suck up these blocks. Find a door. Go through it. Uh, destroy these. Go through this other floating door. And look, it's the room with the switch. So, this is switch one. Woo! And we've unlocked the boss place for this. I'll try to go through the boss thing for every level. Um, I'm not sure if I did it for World 1. If I didn't, I'll go back. I'll go back and do it later. But, um, yeah. So, we're gonna go on through the end door, and we're done with level 1. It was that easy, that quick. But this is just the beginning. What horrors await, Kirby? Find out in the next episode. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and go through here. This is the wheel, okay. Which is funny, because I don't see how a wheel will help you at all on a building. Especially when you're climbing constantly. It just aggravates me. I mean, not even the boss... Well, the bosses of each world don't really... I don't really get... I don't need you. Anyway, go on through here. Um, yeah, let's go in the door. And not get shot by the fire breathing gerbil thing. Kind of look like Octorok from Zelda. Just a little bit. These little pigs. While they're one of the cutest enemies from any video game ever, they are the most annoying enemy ever. And... Yeah, sadly, the only way to get the things that those... I can't remember what they're called. But the things that they ride on, like the apples, or sometimes their maximum tomatoes. Uh, yeah, you have to inhale them, you can't kill them. If you kill them, you kill their ride, and then you kill them, the actual monster. So, to kill the actual monster first, you have to uh, inhale them, sadly. Ow. Walk on them. Don't tread on me. Just gonna take this. And by this I mean your life. Oh, come on. Come on, Kirby, get some distance. Okay, this room is going to make a lot of people angry. And... Falling rocks. And you're gonna wanna wait for him to walk down and fall. You wanna jump this way. You wanna jump up. Oh, never mind. Well, that's decent. Now you're gonna have more falling rocks. And now they're gonna fall again. And you're gonna wanna destroy them. Jump up here. Um, destroy that. Jump, jump. Wow, I've never gone through that smoothly. 
that just goes to show the Let's Play curse, I guess. You know, when you expect things to go terribly wrong, and they go wonderfully. Hit the stupid bomb thing. I've seen you hit things above you with it. Ah! Forget it. I like Cutter, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, there's nothing important in... Actually, you're gonna want that. Yeah, if you... Think about it, come get the little wheel thing. Ha 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 I've got a wheel. And a cool hat. <laughs> yes, this pretty much is the perfect ability for this room. I mean, look at you go, you're invincible, so... Yeah. Crap. Well, I guess now I don't need the maximum tomato. Actually, I probably will before I'm done here. Back up seat. But... Nope, that doesn't do anything for me. Yay. Drop. Yeah. Forget it. Oh, I hate this boss so much. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, you can jump over every boss in this game. Because that's all Kirby's power is, is he can jump and he can fly and he can suck things up. And take their powers, so Kirby really has the ultimate superpower. Yeah. Go ahead, unleash your little ladybug minions. Yeah. Usually this guy isn't so bad, but ugh, he takes forever. Especially if you don't have an ability. And he'll fly just randomly sometimes. And he'll shoot across the room and grab you and throw you and ugh. Uh, if you defeat this guy, he'll give you the backdrop of it. If you defeat this guy. Gosh, he's, he's really not that bad. As much as I'm playing him up. Um, when you defeat this guy, he'll give you the backdrop ability. Which is okay. It's kind of like the throw ability. But not really. You just grab it, and you pretty much just pick them up and throw them on somebody else. Like that. And depending on which way you're pressing, you will uh, kill them in a myriad of fun ways. Oh, 5,000 points. Because they don't do anything. Seriously, I never understood the point system in these games. Yay! And we're slightly up butter building. And it will just keep climbing and climbing and... Sword! Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of sword play, honestly. No! Why do I always kill them? I just want to be your friend. I'm back up here, avoid the bird. Forget you, yes. I am Super Jumpy Man. Yeah. And you're dead. Yeah, you gotta wait for the fog to clear, then the door will open. Oh gosh. Yeah, as much as you may think, there's a, there's a, uh, something important in here, there's not. Just go through the door, it'll take you to like one of three different rooms, and there's just no surprises in there, honestly. You can get a maximum tomato if you wander around, but it's not worth it right now for me. Maximum tomato to cure one hit point of damage. Sure, it's a, uh, you know, it's one of three, but, eh, what can I say? I'm a risk taker. Yeah. Oh god, I'll never say that again. But anyway, go through here in the museum for this world. There's high jump. I wonder why. See, the museum always has the useful moves for each level. I mean, because the first world is fairly simple. You know, it's simple. So they give you simple ability, like sword. Sword is a good all-around, good beginner-friendly ability. In the second world, they give you laser and fire. Slightly, slightly more challenging to work with, but... They're uh, they're useful in the in the levels there. High jump. Well, who wants to sit here and climb up butter building the entire way? High jump is definitely useful. Um, 
I'm going really in depth with this analysis of this game. This is just, uh, yeah. Anyway, I love this game so much. Oh, except for this mini boss. I hate these mini bosses so much. Uh, how did you not die? Yeah. My voice cracks all over the place. These guys are a pain. But pardon me. I now go and get some Meta Knight minion butt. Um, where'd he go? Ah, <laughs> didn't block me that time. So, ow! How dare you? <laughs> and yes, I am doing that on purpose. I am. Um, no! Ha 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 ha! You, sir, will die! Go through the door. And I'm just gonna grab this, just because it's there. No! Brella must die. Anyway, oh yes, this is going to be quite fun. Um, yeah, this is pushing you upwards. You can swim to go faster. Swim, fly to go faster. Uh, you won't fall as fast in it. You'll. And if you puff up, you'll rise slowly. Anyway, it's... Uh... Now. No! Stop it, Kirby! Thank you! Go through the door! Finally. Oh, and it's a new minigame! This is called Quick Draw. I'm going to go through the door and I'll show you the instructions. Anyway, it's pretty much a reflex test game. Um, I suck at it, especially on an emulator. Uh, just because the key responsiveness isn't as good as it should be. I don't know. Maybe I'm just slipping a little bit. I was actually playing this game uh, on my DS not too long ago and I did so much better on this game so I don't think it's my uh, don't think it's my reflexes I think it's just the responsiveness of this anyway so yeah when you see the question mark you quickly press A to pimp slap whatever enemy is standing on the other side of the screen uh, each enemy has a certain time you have to beat at level 3 oh god this is gonna be crazy I'm probably gonna die from the waddle dude Well, look at me go. Yay! That really sucked. No bonus. Well, then. Um. Well, yeah. So. Anyway. To level five. Ooh, candy! Oh, I was about to say, no! I'm still invincible. Scratch that last statement. No, Garby! No, bonkers. Yeah. Why do they put these ladders here? They have really mess with me. Because I try to back into a corner where it can't, where it won't get me. Yeah. Go ahead. Hit me with your best shot. Woo! Hammer! I don't think Hammer does you any good in this world. But, oh, it does. Wow. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, uh, yeah, you're gonna want to always grab a mini boss's ability if you can. Because odds are, if it's the first time you fought it, they're gonna have something fancy to exploit there. And especially if it's Hammer. If it's bonkers with the hammer or this weird flaming lion thing I think we'll meet later on in this level. Anyway, on to level six. Um Yeah, I can't remember what's over there. Uh but we're gonna find out because I believe the switch for it is in this world right here. Is in this level right here, so I should have got laser. Yeah.
So that was quite lucky of me, honestly. Which is why I want, should have grabbed laser. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the fire guy here. Just because I don't think there's any use in having... Uh, don't need that. Well, wow, that's I think this is the first time I've said that in a long time. Oh, I don't need... Oh, come on, go away, fog. Aww. Now I should've... Okay, yeah. So you're gonna climb up this building and you see four right here. Go through this door. You will... Oh, now this is fun. You have to go through... Yes, pretty much fall. Because it'll give you a certain amount of time to get up there, but you are just gonna fall straight down. And that'll take you underneath the barrier. So since we can't go back this that way, let's go through here. And what do you know? It's the room with the switch in it. Uh, anyway, cool. Um, a little thing about the switches. I don't, I'm not sure if I said it in the last episode. But when you hit them, they'll fully heal you. Which is weird, because in these switch rooms, especially the really well-hidden ones, they will uh, show you a lot of... They will give you a lot of maximum to ma tomatoes. Anyway. Wow, we are running really low on time. We're going to want to... Is this... No. Anyway. Sorry about that. Sorry I even mentioned that. Let's go through here. Okay. We're going to need one of these guys. These are our halos. They will give you the light ability. Yay, light. And then you can see things. Yeah, that's all about, That's all the light ability is good for. Remember one time... See, if you suck up two powered monsters at the same time, you'll get a random ability, pretty much. They will, like, draw and give you a random ability. So one time, I was in... I can't remember what it was I was doing. But... Crap. Come on now, I'm running low on time. I can't quit in the middle of a level. Uh, so anyway. Yeah, so I was doing something important. And I sucked up two, and it gave me the light ability. And I was kind of frustrated, because usually I get something halfway decent. Oh, there's the one up. I knew I was, I was trying to go over there the first time. I don't want to change my mind. Anyway. Yeah, so I beat this one. Um, we just beat level 6, I want to say. The boss is up next. Cool, that means we will show you... I will show you the boss in the next episode. Which might be at the same time this one is. I'm not sure. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you like my stuff, subscribe, comment, uh, like. I... gosh, I can't remember what it's called anymore. Anyway, but... Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in episode 4 of Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland.